I don't know what happened, but somehow it generated a battle and I was definitely not looking for that. Hello, good morning. Actually, it's afternoon and I have an appointment for another skin peeling. As you can see, my skin is absolute terror and I hope um, the lady can fix it or at least improve it a little bit. I have today an iets higher percentage. Gepakt. I feel it. Because <laughs> the vorige keer ging it eigenlijk so good and you have the yeah. best nou, dikke huid. Dus we hebben nu 70% thickening. Oh, okay. Erop zitten. Hardcore. Hardcore. Ja. <laughs> Gaat het nog zo? Ja hoor. Look at this. So this is what sun does to your skin. This is a truck driver who always had a sun on his left side. And this is a skin without the sun. So it was always protected. This is insane. Uh, these are twin sisters. This one didn't smoke. This one smoked. Look at the difference in their skin. Wow, I'm so happy I don't smoke. So I got a proper face beat in a bad way. <laughs> My face looks absolutely horrible right now and I have to do groceries. Um, yeah, no shame in my game. <laughs> have to get over it because it's, I hope it's for the better. Um, yeah, let's go shopping for food again. <laughs> oh my gosh, Franny made me buy a naked bar yesterday. So this is Coco Delight. I just tried it and it's so good, so delicious. They are not the most cheap bars, but definitely worth it if you're craving something, you know, something not healthy but this is the healthy option mm. really good all the groceries are in the fridge and i need to eat some lunch i'm quite hungry i was thinking i bought rice paper rice paper <laughs> rice paper yesterday and i want to make some vietnamese rice paper rolls i just looked up some videos on youtube uh, i have all the ingredients let's see if this will work out as delicious as I remembered it. Alrighty, I cut some vegetables, some carrot and some cucumber. I'm going to use nuts for protein. These are, uh, what are these? Pecan nuts. Uh, I got some mint here. I got some cilantro over here. A little bit of lettuce. Let's do this. Alrighty, I got some lukewarm water here. Rice paper roll. Well, I love a rice paper sheet actually, which I'm going to roll afterwards. All right. So I heard the trick is to soak the the sheet properly. Ooh, this is so nice! Oh my gosh, it feels so jellyish. I think this should be okay. Yes. The new. The mystery, the mystery. Yeah, I think I think this should be okay. Let's work with this. I think I used a little bit too much filling, but we're going to see in a minute. I'm trying to roll this up, so yeah, I filled them with all my ingredients. Let's see if I can make them pretty. All right, so we've got uh, the twins here. <laughs> this is, I think it's not bad for a first try, first attempt. Um, yeah, let's see if it's any good. Let's start with a thin one. Dip it into soy sauce. First bite. Mind blowing. No joke. It's so good. First when I first when I dipped into the soy sauce, the first bite when I dipped into the soy sauce made me think of sushi and I'm not eating fish anymore, so I've miss, missed sushi so bad. And then you have like the, the lettuce and the crunchy nuts and the crunchy cucumber. Oh, it's so good. And then the, the flavor of the cilantro and the mint kicks in. It's so, so, so delicious. Seriously, try this at home. I have no idea why I haven't tried this before. This is so good. I need to go to Vietnam, man. The food, the food, the food is calling me. Oh my gosh. In what universe am I supposed to eat only one round of these delicious spring rolls? Look at them. Look at them. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? They are so good. And um, yeah, I can promise you that I won't have a third round. That's right. 
Round number three. Three. <laughs> this is so good. Totally made my day. I'm happy. Alright, so this is the Pinterest recipe I have been trying to recreate tonight for dinner. One pot tandoori quinoa. So this looks pretty. This already looks a little bit more like the dish I made. And yeah, it's supposed to look like this. I just didn't add the cilantro. But um, yeah, it's okay. It looks way yellow because the color... Maybe like this? Could it be better? Better, better, can you refocus? Wait, yeah, this is better, right? Because it focuses on the white screen and then everything turns out yellow. Look, look, this is my tandoori quinoa. I haven't tried it yet. It looks disgusting, I know, but I hope it tastes good though. I love them one pot recipes. Mm. Okay, let me try it. It needs more salt, but in general, very tasty. Can highly recommend. I, I primarily use my Pinterest for private purposes, but do you guys want me to make a Enterprise Me TV Pinterest page? With some travel inspiration and stuff like that? I do have a Google Plus collection though. Maybe I should link it below. I will link it below. That's good. Then you can check out that one with lots of travel vlogs. Whoops! I, I accidentally got caught up in a YouTube well, comment battle is a big word, but it's it's a little bit of a troll thread Becoming a troll troll thread <laughs> Right now, so I posted a comment on Anna Akana's video and uh, Let me just show you wait, so it's this video from Anna Akana one of my favorite youtubers. I love her. She's so smart um, It's called racist sexist improv class and it was such a smart video, so uh, usually her videos are super smart. So I said, you are literally adding IQ to YouTube, go Anna. And people were responding like, oh no, you cannot add literally IQ to YouTube. Literally, you are misusing the word. Um, IQ is not a tangible sub uh, object, you cannot add it to anything, blah blah. And I'm having such a fun time answering these comments. I was a little bit on a troll roll in the beginning, but afterwards like people responding like, it's so funny. It definitely makes a difference if a YouTuber has a smart audience or if it's like, I hate to say it, but like people with, who have like trouble understanding maybe humor or something. I, I often post comments on YouTube videos because I love getting comments from you guys. So I think it's very greedy if I don't post comments on other people's YouTube videos when I love getting them myself. So one time I posted a comment uh, on a video from a travel vlogger, travel YouTuber. And like I was giving feedback, like honestly you guys, most of you guys know me for a longer period of time. Um, I would never say anything to hurt anyone, especially not in a public place where someone like you know me and then you would see that and you would think, oh, she's such a bitch. Like, but in general, like in person, I would not do that. So I watched her videos for a very long time and there was just one annoying thing and I was just thinking, okay, let me tell you this, just like you know I appreciate feedback, it might help you. So I, like I said, I love your videos, la 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 la. Um, if there's one thing I would have to say, um, there's room for improvement, uh, this would be it, la 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 la. I don't know what happened, but somehow it generated a battle and I was definitely not looking for that. I was just, I, I felt really bad afterwards because there were like 50% of the people was liking my comment and there were 50 people saying like I so disagree and blah blah and people got so passionate about it and I was like but this is not what I wanted to do I genuinely just wanted to give her feedback because I love her videos because I, why would I otherwise like put time and effort in writing a comment so I was like okay the next time I want to give a youtuber feedback which I probably never ever will do again I will just write them an email because like people can get so passionate followers of, of popular youtubers and so now <laughs> you can see like the difference with Anna's audience they're so super smart and everybody's like everybody's staying polite and and 
well maybe I, like I'm speaking too soon like tomorrow it could all be different but until now I'm having so much fun with this like troll thread <laughs> And I genuinely like her videos, so check her channel out, Anna. If you ever get to see this, you are an awesome YouTuber. Keep up the good work. Okay, if you go on a sexy day, like yeah. a Valentine's Day, you want to, you know, hear the I love yous. And True. I can't live without yeah. you. <laughs> this is going to be the best day ever. <laughs> Look what we scored. Oh my gosh.